with a local author. This is Susan. Hi. She's just been with us at Social Sisters reading her book that she's written herself. So I'll say no more. Hand over to you. Tell us all about it. Okay. So I wrote a book called The Riddle of Rory, which is available on Amazon. Um, but it's quite nice now because if you Google it, it comes up with all sorts. So Ooh. I've been to lots of schools, lots of play groups, um, lots of places. So um, when I was younger, I always wanted to write a book. Um, and then I found all these stories up in my attic when I was about 11. I found them later and just thought, oh, do you know what? This is something I've always wanted yeah. to do. By the time I was 60, and I was 62 two weeks ago. So. I've actually done it in time for that. Yeah. yeah so, um, so you had the stories written, you had the ideas. No, they were different stories. Oh, okay. So this is a different story again. So the inspiration on my story was my grandson. Lovely. So he loved stories. So it was all about him and his dad going on an adventure um, looking for a, an escapee Ooh, from the zoo. He wants to be a zoo keeper, which he always wants to be. Oh, so, that's yeah. nice. He's actually six now, so I actually went and read it in his school, which was quite amazing yeah, because he didn't so expect cool. yeah. me. Yeah, and it was lovely. And it's all about him. Yeah, it is him and his dad. So, but there's lots of characters in there. So, um, the characters are the animals from Disney because I loved Disney yes. films um, when I was younger. Um, the lady with the bald head is actually me. So, I had breast cancer when in 2015, lost all my hair, hated wearing a wig, so I thought I need to fit in somewhere. Oh, wow. So yeah. I'm in the story. Um, yeah, so that's quite right. good. Um, and all the children gorgeous. love the character, that yeah. character, so yeah. Um, but my nana, as a little girl, my nana was bought me in a black book, so I think mm -hmm. my love of reading thing from there. Yeah. So I've got and you haven't to forgotten for that. it since? No, wow, no. And I work in a school, so and I love reading with the kids. So. You've got a lovely voice. We've just been treated to hearing Susan read the story, and it was absolutely magical. It was the most calm I think I've felt in six months. Oh, <laughs> it was lovely. Thank yeah. You. Thank you for that. It was real oh. lovely to be read to. I, I yeah, do tend to be with old people still reading to three to five year olds. Oh, so, absolutely. Which is what I say. We don't get that now, do we? No, you know, it's lovely. No. It's nice to hear. Yeah, yeah, I do. yeah I it's do a pleasure it. to meet you and ah, thank you so much. You. We'll share all your links. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for being with us. Brilliant. Thanks, Jen. Take care. Brilliant. Fired me, that's my grandson there. So he loved reading, so I thought, well, I'll write a book. I've always wanted to write books. And then I went in my attic and found about five stories that I'd written when I was about 11. Um, and my nan inspired me, my lovely nanny and I. So, um, yeah, she was finding a blank book, so, and then I just thought, I need to write a book, so, but there's lots of personal touches in, in here, so this is Alfie, that's my grandson, spyglass, my dad always had a spyglass, so my kids would always use spyglass, there's, there's lots of little things, I'll go through the story and then um, <coughs> I'll tell you what. I'll have to read it or how I read it to my three year old, so you might have yeah. it. <laughs> so, so, my dedication at the beginning, you can all see. Yeah. Yeah. My dedication says dedicated to my three little inspirations my grandchildren, Alfie, Harry, and Evie. Also, my children, Kirsty, Haley, and Ashley. Love you all to the moon and back. Nanny, I, for all your magical stories and instilling in me my love for books. To all the wonderful children I've taught at Catterton School, Whoa. you will always hold a special place in my heart. Oh, so I actually nice. went to Catterton and um, my children went to Catterton. Good morning. Does anybody know what day it is? Because I'm stumped. I haven't got a clue. But look, I'm out. Out of my sick bed, feeling a bit better. Um, but having to get out, actually going for a meal with some friends which I will vlog a little bit of after. They are quite shy, so they might want, not want to appear. So, happy Tuesday to you all. Everything's looking a little bit bleak this morning, but the sun is trying to push through. Still dry. What can you expect for December? 
dear, I'm late, they're waiting for me. Uh-oh.